My dad abandoned my family when I was five years old. That is um, a wife and four kids. He abandoned us and then pursued amateur breakdancing. Okay, I wake up at 6 a.m. to do some work. I get my coffee, I sit down, I open my computer, and what am I greeted with? Well, hundreds of comments calling me a deadbeat dad, a child abandoner, and all manner of other insults. Maddie Hart has to be the world's biggest narcissist, and now she's gotten at the center of one of the most heartbreaking stories to ever hit the internet, and it's just gotten worse. First, Maddie used her TikTok following to spread extremely damaging allegations about her father, only to get exposed for lying on the internet just for some views. And the worst thing is that her mother was the mastermind behind all this drama. And now Maddie Hart's father has had enough of his daughter trying to badmouth him and he is cutting her off once and for all. Loves, join me today as we look into one of the most shocking, clout-chasing stories you will ever have the displeasure of hearing. Loves, clout-chasing is nothing new. It seems like every other day you come across some video of someone trying to start up fake drama all for clout. Especially on TikTok where it's easy to go viral, some people are willing to do the most wild and unthinkable things just for a couple of views. However, a TikTok by the name of Maddie Hart decided decided to take clout chasing to a whole new level and seemingly completely destroyed her family in the process. You see, back in February, Maddie took to her TikTok and dropped a bombshell video that started this whole drama. What's a piece of trauma that you have that's funny? It has to actually be funny. I'll go first. My dad abandoned my family when I was five years old. That is um, a wife and four kids. He abandoned us and then pursued amateur breakdancing. And he got really good. <laughs> he like blew up. Like he became like a D-list celebrity status, like viral breakdancer. He became like the oldest actively competing breakdancer in the world. Then he got on Good Morning America and talk shows and Washington Post wrote about him and he went super viral and he did all these interviews and he danced with Paula Abdul. And in a now deleted video, Maddie decided to unload to the entire world a story about how her dad abandoned her entire family so he could go and pursue his passion of amateur breakdancing. Now, up to this point, people were shocked because how could a father do something like this to his family? But Maddie Maddie hadn't mentioned her father's name, so this was just a story about some guy. However, that quickly changed when Maddie added to her story saying that her father became successful in his breakdancing career and he became the oldest ever breakdancer in the world. With this information, it didn't take people long to find her dad. I mean, all it took was a quick Google search and videos popped up about the world's oldest breakdancer named Ben, aka Benny Hanna. By day, he's an advertising executive, but by night, he's a breakdancing dad. <laughs> all the way from Chicago, Illinois, let's hear from Ben Hart. As it turns out, Benny Hanna was low-key a big deal. He had a YouTube channel and he had made appearances on talk shows like Good Morning America. So when people found out that he allegedly abandoned his family in search of his breakdancing, they started sending a lot of hate his way. In Maddie's video, she went into detail about how Benny Hanna, her dad, left them with nothing and he didn't even bother to pay for her medical bills and all he did was give her a t-shirt of him breakdancing and he would occasionally text her happy birthday, quickly followed by a link to his breakdancing videos. Like there was no split custody or anything like he just like left four kids to do that. He may not have paid for some of my medical bills growing up, but he did give me this breakdancing merchandise. So that's him, he's on his head. Benny Hanna is his b-boy name because his name is Ben Hart. You know, I'll get texts like this, happy birthday question mark, and then like links to his to his breakdancing videos. Dog loves, I mean, if it was you and you had just heard this part of the story, you would understandably get infuriated. Now, fast forward to the next day, Maddie's dad, Ben, got up in the morning and quickly noticed that he was getting a lot of nasty DMs from people and they were all hurling insults at him about how he was a bad person and a deadbeat dad. Okay, I wake up at 6 a.m. to do some work. I get my coffee, I sit down, I open my computer, and what am I greeted with? Well, Hundreds of comments calling me a deadbeat dad, a child abandoner, and all manner of other insults. So I think, what's this all about? Well, after a few minutes of investigation, I discover that my daughter, Maddie, has made a video about me. She's a screenwriter in Hollywood. She's also a big social media influencer with millions of followers. Some of her videos get millions of views. 
And this video has tens of millions of views, 1 million likes, 20,000 comments, 40,000 bookmarks, 30,000 reposts. It's just insane. Confused by this whole thing, Ben started doing some research only to find a video of his daughter Maddie accusing him of a lot of stuff. According to Ben, Maddie and him had an amazing relationship, or at least that's what he thought. So saying Maddie's video caught him off guard is a complete understatement. Anyways, given all the hate he was receiving, Ben decided to upload a response video to share his side of the story, and that's when things just went wild. Loves, according to Ben, he and Maddie's mother got divorced when she was about five years old, and he had to leave their home to go find a place of his own because he didn't want to be far from his kids. He managed to find a house just a mile away from where Maddie lived. Okay, in many ways I love this video. And of course, I love my daughter Maddie. And we get along great, at least I think we do. But a few corrections are in order or at least a few things that need to be put in context. First, I can see that as a five-year-old, Maddie would see her dad as having abandoned the family. One day I was living there, the next day I wasn't. And that will look like abandonment to a child. But married couples do get divorced about half the time in America. And I was just living a mile or so down the street in LaGrange, Illinois. We just weren't living under the same roof. Y'all, unlike Maddie's story, Ben decided to come with hella receipts. And in one, it showed that it turns out Maddie was lying. Ben didn't abandon them with nothing. In fact, after the divorce, Ben paid Maddie's mom a whopping $2 million and continued to pay $18,000 in child support every month. On top of that, he set aside over half a million dollars for his kid's college fund. Here was the financial arrangement of the divorce. Maddie's mom, my ex-wife, got $2 million at the get-go, out of the gate, a lump sum payment. Plus, I was paying her $18,000 per month in child support and alimony. This was later reduced to $12,000 per month. And of course, I paid health insurance and out-of-pocket medical costs. I also put $600,000 into the kids' college fund. In all, I paid out about $5 million to my ex-wife to cover costs for her and the kids. And this is in 2005 dollars. So add 50% to account for inflation. In total, Maddie's dad gave Maddie's mom over $5 million for the upkeep of Maddie and her siblings. And given the fact that he lived just a mile from Maddie, he saw her and her family constantly. But the biggest reveal of all was that Ben didn't leave his family for breakdancing. He got divorced from Maddie's mom in 2005 and got into breakdancing in 2012 by sheer luck. I did not abandon the family for breakdancing. I have a career, I'm in the advertising business, built an ad agency. That's how I was able to afford to pay Maddie's mom $5 million. Maddie's mom and I separated in 2004 and divorced in 2005. I took up breakdancing entirely by accident in 2012 as a way to get in shape at the age of 54. I then just kept doing it. I'm now age 66. Now some of you might be wondering, can he still break dance at age 66? Well, I don't know. Let's see. I'll give it a try. <laughs> okay, Maddie, let's see how the old man does. As soon as Ben uploaded his response video, it went super viral, gaining over 33 million views on Twitter. Not only that, the video was so big that Elon Musk saw it and commented on the video telling Ben how awesome he was. Y'all, Ben's video went so viral that talk shows and podcasters started doing reactions to the whole thing. Did you hear about the man who allegedly left his family to pursue break dancing? Maddie Hart is a comedian who made a story time video claiming her dad left the family for break dancing. She said he was mostly absent wouldn't pay medical bills but he is an excellent breakdancer and then her crypto bro dad made a video saying he did pay bills and is an excellent breakdancer well they've argued in subsequent videos and i personally think it's time for a phone call and for some reason the whole thing's been politicized and elon musk and candace owens got involved and then suddenly and without warning i'm sitting here like i would pay a lot of money to watch this movie there's so many great elements of this it's like a real life goofy movie anyway after seeing how horribly this entire thing backfired on her, Maddie tried to do some damage control. She made a response video about all the attention she was getting, and it did go as well as I think she expected, mainly because for the entire video, all she had to say was that she didn't have millions of followers like her dad, and said that all the news outlets who were saying she had millions of followers didn't do their research. Okay, I'm gonna say one more thing about the breakdancing dad 
saga. This is not a clapback video. This is not beef. It's something that I've loved that people are not talking about is that there's a sort of Mandela effect happening in the collective consciousness of the internet right now. In his original video and like in his tweet, my dad had posted being like, my daughter is a famous influencer. She has millions of followers. She's a big social media influencer. And now everybody thinks that that's true. Like nobody fact checked that. Like nobody, like everyone's rolling with it. Like every news source, every tweet, like I'm a small creator. I'm not even monetizing my account yet because I'm too small. I have 70,000, like love you guys, but like I definitely don't have millions. And all over his um, like social media, he's like my daughter, she's a successful Hollywood screenwriter at Netflix. Don't know where he got any of that. Obviously I've told him in the past that I am an assistant. Would love that though. Like he's manifesting that for me. But now like everybody's just like talking like that's the truth. Like Candace Owens just posted a whole like long podcast being like, I'll show you guys. There's a young woman, her name is Maddie. She's 24 years old and she decided to go on to, yeah, you guessed it, TikTok <laughs> to dump some trauma about her childhood. Now to be clear, Maddie's got millions of followers on TikTok. Did nobody fact check? Did she not? Did nobody do research into this? I mean, she did say that she didn't upload that as a clapback to her father's video, but after Ben exposed her for being a liar, she should have had a better response. After this, Maddie went on a podcast and stuck to her side of the story and even revealed that she was working on a screenplay about the things her dad did. Now in Ben's video, he said he was trying to see the whole situation from Maddie's side of things and how to a five-year-old Maddie, it would seem like he abandoned her. However, it looks like at this point, Maddie just didn't care anymore because she continued to say that Ben was a deadbeat dad. This caused Ben to come out with another video to silence any doubters. This video is a follow-up to my Sunday video on my daughter's viral video trashing me, her dad. And these videos are all over the internet now with titles like Bitcoiner and breakdancing dad Ben Hart navigate storm from daughter's viral TikTok video. Ben came strong in his second video, even going as far as sharing a lot of videos of Maddie and her siblings growing up, taking her to school and to the beach, and even a graduation video. Okay, so let's roll tape to see what childhood was actually like for my kids. And let's see how my relationship was with the kids even after the divorce and even after very ugly legal proceedings. We have with us here Maddie Hart. She is a YouTube specialist. How many, how many videos, Maddie, do you have on YouTube now? About you 54. Say? And what is your goal? One day I want to be a partner. What does that mean? It means you get paid to make videos. Now, throughout this entire drama cycle, Ben couldn't understand why Maddie would turn on him given the fact that they were having a dinner a couple of weeks before Maddie made her first video. So Ben did a little investigating, and as it turns out, his ex-wife was the one behind the whole video thing. I thought I had a great relationship with my daughters especially since they became adults. Everything was going fine, I thought. Here we were last Christmas, 90 days ago. We all had a great time. I even thought I was getting along fine with my ex-wife, Betsy. Just last year, I swung by her house to pick up the kids for dinner. One of the kids was late, was out with a friend or something, so Betsy invited me to come into the house for a glass of wine. Three of the kids were there, and we had a perfectly fine conversation perfectly pleasant. Then the kids and I went out for dinner and we all had a great time as usual. I thought the fact that Betsy had invited me into her house for a glass of wine was good progress. I was encouraged. But now this saga has taken a more negative turn and all the indicators point to my ex-wife Betsy as the manipulator. Y'all, Maddie's mom, Betsy, is on a whole next level. Apparently, she lied to all her kids and manipulated them for years. She told them fake stories and lies about Ben, and then she wrote a book and went on TV telling the whole world that she was a struggling single mom whose husband had abandoned her. Betsy went through a divorce and suddenly became a single mother of four. She speaks from experience. Her practical and humorous insights on family issues are often featured on shows like Fox and Friends and other media outlets. Betsy's new book, From the Heart, is a collection of some of her most popular columns. But guess what? So many women in particular, and certainly children, get really um, short-shifted in the process. Boy, they really, really do. You went through a divorce in 2004. What was that like for you? Well, I was devastated. I very much did not want it. It was not my choice. But suddenly there I was with four very young children, just Yikes. 10 down to three. And I was sort of thinking, oh my goodness, what, what do I do now? Fortunately, I had a wonderful support network, and I had had 
a wonderful church life and and was already walking with God and then he used that to come in and draw me I think so much closer to himself. Loves, it seems that Betsy forgot to mention that her struggles were how she was going to use that 5 million she got from Ben. That's not even the worst part. In their divorce, Betsy got 97% of her and Ben's assets and the remaining 3% that Ben was left with got used up in legal fees for the divorce, essentially meaning she took everything and left him with nothing and still told her kids that their father was a deadbeat. But I also agreed to just give Betsy essentially all the marital assets. I left the marriage with zero dollars. Well, 3% that became zero after paying all the lawyers. Now, of course, I agreed to all of this. And I told you, I made literally every mistake in a divorce that a guy can possibly make. I thought giving Betsy $1.8 million at the get-go and leaving myself with nothing would buy peace. Wow, was I wrong. And everyone told me I was absolutely insane to agree to this. But I wanted Betsy to be a stay-at-home mom, as she had been. We agreed that that would be best for the kids. I wanted the kids to have a mom at home when they came home from school. So I didn't want Betsy to have to work while the kids were still young. And I wasn't worried about money. I was confident I could always make back the money. Betsy lied to her kids so much that after Maddie's video went viral, most of Ben's kids stopped talking to him and cut him off. And by the way, did I mention that during this divorce, he was running a business and that's why he could afford to pay $2 million to Betsy? However, Betsy ruined his business and badmouthed him so badly that it completely ruined his work and because of that, he was unable to pay Betsy about $100,000 that he had promised her and he had to go to jail. Can you imagine? Apparently the judge doesn't even tell this guy that he's going to jail for a year, he actually finds out later. Uh, and that, that I'm fairly certain has to be illegal. I was seated and handcuffed to a metal chair next to an officer who was inputting data into a computer. He pulled up my record. He looked at me and said, wow, what did you say to this judge to get one year in jail? Wait, what I asked? I'm here for a year? What? Judge Alden had never said anything about this. All she had said was bailiff, remand Mr. Hart to the custody of the sheriff. And that was all she said. She never said anything about one year in jail. The officer read from the screen. Well, that's what it says here. You're getting one year in jail for contempt of court. It says you owe $148,000 to your ex-wife. How did you get $148,000 behind on your child support? Asked the officer. And I said, well, it's not really support. I paid my ex almost $1.7 million in assets that we had, which was pretty much all our assets, but I still owe her $148,000 to bring the total to $1.8 million in cash up front at the get-go. I also agreed to pay her $12,000 per month in support. So all in all, I'm $148,000 short in terms of immediate cash due. The officer looks at me. Why the hell did you agree to all that, he said. Who is the judge in this case, asked the officer. I answered, Judge Leslie Alden. Oh, that explains it, says the cop. Yup, that judge, she really hates men. However, as the days went by, even though he came out and spoke with Maddie and offered his side of the story, it became clear to Ben that Maddie had changed and she wasn't interested in hearing his side. Initially, Ben was a supporter of Maddie's ambitions and career, but it turns out Maddie decided to switch up on him. And according to him, she began making and posting videos that were contrary to the values that she was brought up with. What seemed to hurt Ben the most was that Maddie was slowly dragging his name through the mud just so that she could gain views. Now, amidst all this drama, Maddie and her dad were still in contact. Ben was helping Maddie while she was in LA. He gave her around $5,000 while she was starting off in LA. He co-signed on her lease and gave her $2,500 for the car. He was even giving her $250 per week when she was unemployed. Meanwhile, it seemed that Maddie was loving how viral she was going and she was making more and more controversial videos so that she could go viral. On seeing this, Ben took to YouTube and posted a video titled, Why I Cut My Daughter Out of My Will. My 25-year-old daughter is a writer in Hollywood. She has become something of a social media influencer over the last year or so. She has about 103,000 followers on TikTok. Many of her videos get millions of views. She also gets quite a lot of media attention. Her shtick is that she was raised in a conservative-leaning Christian home. Now she's putting out videos like this. It's Pride Month. Happy Pride to all of the formerly Christian, Republican, homophobic children who grew up to be pretty gay. I always forget
forget that being pro-choice technically means that I'm pro-people also being able to choose to keep the baby. Like, I just heard about some people from my high school who like accidentally got pregnant and the girl is apparently decided to keep the baby and my first thought was like, what? I'm like, our state is pro-choice. You can get rid of it. And I said that to like a mutual friend and she was like, well, yeah, she can also choose to keep it. I was like, oh. That's how that works. I don't know if I'm pro-choice. I think I'm pro a lot of the people I know shouldn't be parents yet. Happy Pride Month. When I was little, I was super homophobic and Christian. So I literally protested gay marriage, like truly marched against it. <laughs> anyway, now I like eating pussy. She's posted more than 600 videos. Now, most of her videos are not like this. I'd say 75% of her videos are okay, though not my taste. But her channel has been moving in this new direction recently. As I move forward to this video, I'll outline my theories on what I think led to this change in her content. Despite trying to be there for his daughter and giving her multiple chances, Ben had had enough of Maddie using him for clout and decided to cut her off completely. It seems that Ben just had enough of giving Maddie money and her turning around and taking the opportunity to just destroy her father. Loves, once Ben uploaded the video, it started going viral and it seems like everyone agreed with his decision to cut off Maddie. Just take a look at these comments people were leaving him. She is a tech textbook narcissist, yet probably calls her dad a narcissist, which is textbook narcissistic behavior. The only person here that was actually abandoned was Ben. You don't get to be 25 and hold contempt against your parents while simultaneously begging for money. The greatest tragedy here is that Maddie doesn't realize how lucky she is. Imagine getting cut out of your family's will because you need narcissistic adoration from strangers. I saw his daughter's videos in a commentary video just destroying them, and I was pretty shocked to find out that this guy is her dad, and he just dropped an hour and a half long response video. Keep this guy on the platform. He is amazing. Bruh. Imagine trying to be a content creator, but your dad is, oops, I love this guy. LOL. Wait a second. Is this her so-called deadbeat dad right here? Pictured with her numerous times from what I've heard? You see, this is why I can't stand some people because they are ungrateful for what they have and the privileges that they have been afforded. Anyways, as of now, it seems like Maddie is trying to move away from this whole drama because she hasn't responded to her dad's latest video and she has stopped mentioning him at all in her recent videos. She has also gone back and deleted all the videos where she talked about him. However, she got the attention she was looking for because people started talking about her. But was it really worth it? Blowing up her relationship with Ben for views? Let me know your opinions in the comments down below and don't forget to check out my previous videos to ensure you are up to date with all the latest tea. Till next time, bye!